September update in Turpite Town Fescue in North Texas, and she is out of here. Depending on where you are in the country, you may have some experience and cool downs. We are still hot right at 100 degrees. This has been one of the most brutal summers to, to piggyback right on last year. And in similar fashion as last year, but probably worse than last year, um, you know, I got a lot of dormancy and dead, no doubt, dead uh, grass mixed in. But for me, it's to be expected because, like I said, it's been over, uh, you know, it's been over 90, 95 degrees for, you know, three, four months, over 100 degrees for, you know, three months, over 105. We are have been consistently above 100, even reaching the 110 mark without a drop of rain. And this is where we are looking at, but it's it's it is what it is. I'm not um, I'm not changing. I'm getting ready to overseed again and coming back. This is not a normal. The last couple of years have been nowhere near a normal summer. We average about 20, 20, 100 degree days. And we are well above that in the uh, 50 range, probably end up around 60. And believe it or not, even though I am in Texas, I'm still within the transition zone and look at the warm season grass over there, you know, still bit the bullet. A lot of the lawns have bit the bullet regardless of what type of grass it is because even uh, warm season grass is going to have a bout with desert like temp temperatures for a considerable amount of time. Uh, so that's what you're going to get. That's what we have to deal with Texas, as you can see. That over there is um, St. Augustine. That was a St. Augustine lawn, and uh, it's just a mess. So I'm gathering up tools uh, to get everything together, and this is going to be a great video because you get to see the before. Before the overseed process, I'm going to try to get some of the overseed process on tape for you guys, and you will see the transition over from this mess uh, let let parts of it come out of dormancy, and then with the new seeds, we're going to push it all the way up until the uh, the first frost, and we start all over again. You know, we might have some people say, "Hey, why go? Why don't you go warm season?" Well, the whole deal with that is, you know, I'm um, October to August or July. This thing is looking pretty darn good on par with any grasses. And then with the St. Augustine or Bermuda, I'm going to be dormant, you know, around October all the way up until June. And that's the choice when you're in the tr transition zone. Or better yet, let me kind of let me show you a map right quick. And before we get into the map, this is the Bermuda lawn. And it's dealt with the same adversities that I had up front. Yet it's looking stellar, looking better than most of my neighbors because of the cultural practices that I practice on both front and the back. This is the reason why, you know, I'm green. Now, this is a chart showing you where all the grasses and their types are pretty much adapted to. We got cool season up top. We got the transition zone in the middle and the warm season at the bottom. And several of the maps you can see that have the same thing with the exception of this one here. Now, the whole deal is this. It's too damn cold up there in the cool season for warm season grasses. And it's too damn hot down at the bottom for cool season grasses. And that's where the middle zone comes in. It has both. So you get to choose. Do you want to be dormant from October to June or do you want to be green from October to August. I am in the DFW area, which is right there on the cusp of being in the transition zone. It's in the transition zone heavily on one map and other maps, maybe not, but it depends on where you look at. So let me address some of the uh, people who are going to say that it's dead. It is not dead uh this is not a new thing for me i've seen this grass come back 
uh, several years. It does go dormant the same way the warm season goes dormant in the cool, this grass can go dormant. Uh, I know this has been some extreme, even the St. Augustine of uh, Bermuda will check out if it was up there in the north and if it was frozen all the way uh, through the winter and then come out spring, no doubt that probably a lot of the grass could survive it. That's probably the same way with this, with the extreme heat. Uh, I do expect some of it to not to have a, a survived that. However, and I still have my mold issue. However, like I said, uh, this is not normal for us in Texas. I have to reiterate that this is a not a um, normal, well, in my area, North Texas, it's not a normal uh, summers that we've been having the last couple of years. So we're never getting uh, that kind of heat. Only thing I can say is, uh, unless there is some truth to the fact that some people are saying there is a climate change is real, you know, unless the climate change is going to be in, uh, changing and this is what we get from here on out, I, I'm on a doubtful side. And if that's the case, then grass is my least of my worries, if that is true. So like and subscribe, stay tuned so I can show you how to turn this grass around and how stellar it's going to be looking in, uh, in another 60 days. Could be 30, uh, but I'm saying 60 because it's, it's the beginning of September. You know, I've seen a 100 degree day in October before. Stranger things have happened. But stay tuned for this overseeding video.